Welcome back to the Scientific Writing Assistant tutorial. Now we're going to open a tool and look at it, play with it a little bit, and start entering some information. Uh, you have three launching documents, uh, depending on which operating system you have. I have a Macintosh. It opens a terminal window, and you'll notice the name Java here. Uh, pretty much it launches the Java application, loads the Java framework, which is why I do recommend that uh, you do use uh, the latest version of Java in your system to make sure everything works. You will have the welcoming uh, window here, which uh, gives you the uh, release candidate number and the people behind the program. Of course, uh, the concept uh, is based on the book. Uh, and uh, that's me right there, the Frenchman. And the other guys um, mostly uh, come from Finland, uh, which explains uh, the spelling of their names and which explain also why uh, it says here Johan Su, uh, because, well, Johan Su is a university of Finland. I visited there. It's a beautiful place. and. Uh, wish that you could be there also. Um, the SWAN is called SWAN for S for scientific, W for writing, and AN are two, uh, in, two letters from the word assistant, scientific writing assistant. All right, let's close this window. And uh, you have the main window with its GUI and a beautiful SWAN that Monica uh, draw. And uh, you have the automatic evaluation. We're going to look at the quick start uh, right now. And this is what you want to use if you are in a hurry and uh, you just want to check, uh, OK, what's my title like or what's my abstract like? So we're going to enter that through a simple copy and paste. Um, I've already opened a Word document here, which you have seen in the first tutorial. Uh, I will just uh, select the title, copy it, click inside the Swan window, and simply paste it, and the title comes in right away. Now, we've got a little bit of work to do because we have to tell Swan uh, a number of things. The first thing we have to say is, well, which of these keywords reflect the contribution? And so uh, here in this case, it's, it does the uh, evaluation of the robustness of some uh, grammar passes. Okay? Uh, the others are not directly part of the contribution. They're part of the context. These are the methods which will be evaluated. Um, and then what we have to do, uh, well, at this point in time, actually, uh, we could uh, either group join names, like keywords, for example. So let's say that uh, grammar parser is a keyword. Uh, what I would do is uh, click on grammar, press the shift key, and while it's uh, shift key is pressed in, click parser, and then ask to join these two words. And now it becomes grammar parser, which would become one keyword. In this case, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to split them again and divide them back to their normal situation. So robustness evaluation of some grammar parser that reflects the contribution. Again, not all words in the title reflect the contribution. Some reflect the scope, some the application. Uh, but in this case, these words reflect the contribution. Now, some of these keywords are not search keywords. Some are search keywords. Like, definitely, I would say that parser is a search keyword. And I would say, uh, in the case of the uh, journal, which probably uh, has this publication, a parser may be an intermediary search keyword. A grammar may be more of a generic word uh, in a search. And um, evaluation, it probably knows. Robustness may or may not be a search keyword, uh, depending on uh, the way we Paul would use it. But definitely a CCG, which I don't really uh, um, think know what it means, but it's probably an expert uh, search keyword. 
And uh, similarly here, uh, Ling Grammar may also be uh, an expert search keyword. So you determine which are the search keywords and uh, which are the words that represent the contribution and pretty much you are done with the title. You could evaluate it right away and click on the button Start Evaluation, but first of all, we're going to uh, bring in the abstract. So again, same principle. I'm going to select the abstract in the word document, copy it, and simply come into this window here and paste it. Here it comes. Now I've got a number of uh, things to do while on the abstract. First of all, uh, notice that you have these uh, buttons here. Uh, they simply, when you click on a sentence of the abstract, it asks you have then to click on one of the other buttons. So, for example, robustness in the parser refers to the ability to deal with exceptional phenomena. Well, actually, this is more like the background to the contribution of the paper. Passive robust, uh, this is, again is the background. This paper reports that's probably the main objective of the research. We propose two measures, uh, that's the methodology. In this paper, we use this measure again, that's the methodology. Our results, that's going to be the results section. Uh, the best parser, we have more of the results here. Okay, so you click, it will highlight the full sentence, and once the sentence is highlighted, uh, click on which button actually corresponds to uh, what that sentence says. All right, so when you're done, pretty much, um, well, uh, if you don't like it, you could always clear everything, uh, but you could, in this case, start the evaluation. So we would start the evaluation of the title, and the abstract. Uh, if we want any help, we just click on the help button. And uh, but in this case, you, we don't need any help. So let's start the evaluation. Of course, it's very quick. And immediately, uh, notice that the tab now is highlighted. Your paper is still here, and the evaluation result tab is here. And you have the uh, plus and minuses here. Why, why? What is good in your title? What is not so good? If you want more information, you just click on the button, and it tells you uh, more. Uh, it gives you a little bit more explanation on uh, what is uh, meant here. Similarly, for the abstract, you have some uh, results here, and uh, again, uh, more detailed explanation. Uh, about what's going on. Now, uh, mind you, the uh, the tool is still in its infancy, so you may be surprised to find some of the words here that appear frequently. Uh, it's just that they come often, so if they appear in the abstract, uh, are they important for your uh, title also? I mean, uh, the program doesn't know that. You have to decide whether they are important or they're not important. Again, you are in charge. Uh, the program just asks questions, and it's up to you to decide whether you're fine or whether you should pay attention to this. Okay. Uh, similarly, here it says the abstract is incomplete. Your abstract. Uh, it looks as though this particular abstract is uh, missing a sentence, possibly man announcing the impact of the work. It's always very good to um, make that very clear in the abstract. Okay, so that's it. Very simple. If you want to export uh, what you've done, you just click on the export button and then uh, it pretty much uh, you can save this file on your desktop. Uh, here it comes. And then if you want to look at it, well, you just double click on it. It will open uh, your browser and you can see everything, the whole evaluation here, title report as an HTML document, which uh, you can send to people, you can look at it or print it, uh, whichever you want. So there you are. This is the quick start. In our next tutorial, we're going to look at, again, back the main menu, at the full evaluation of the paper.